Well, I have shocking news to present you from this week. At a large men conference, brought in pole dancing male strippers as entertainment. And one of the conference speakers, Mark Driscoll, rebuked the leadership of that conference in the middle of the event. Then Mark was kicked out of the event in the middle of his sermon. A verbal fight breaks out between Mark and the lead pastor of the event, and the footage went live on Twitter and got over 10 million views. So I am going to show you this shocking cell phone footage from the event and we're going to go over the whole thing from start to end for what happened. So you're going to want to stick with me to the end. Let us take a look at Mark's rebuke in his sermon. We're going to talk about how to be an Elijah yeah. and how to deal with Ahab and Jezebel. But let me do this. Um, I've been up since one o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm hoarse is I have been praying for you and my heart is very burdened for you. Woo! And I want to be very careful with this, and it's not what I want to say, but the Jezebel spirit has already been here. The Jezebel spirit opened our event. This is a rebuke and a correction of no one. This is an observation. Before the word of God was open, there was a platform. It was a high place. On it was a pole, an ashram. The same thing that's used in a strip club for women who have the Jezebel spirit to seduce men. In front of that was a man who ripped his shirt off like a woman does in front of a pole at a strip club. That man then ascended. See, our God is not arrogant. He doesn't ascend. Our God is humble. He descends. And then he swallowed a sword and Jesus cried, okay, Pastor John, I'll receive that. Thank you. So now we're going to take a look at the pastor's response to Mark's rebuke. And then he swallowed a sword and Jesus cried, okay, Pastor John, I'll receive that. Thank you. I talked to Mark. 
heard for a half hour. There was not one word of that. He's not lying. If he wanted to say it, he could say it to me. You may not agree with me. You may not agree with him. But we are brothers in Christ, and there's a right way to handle this agreement. 1 Timothy 5, 19-20 says, Do not admit a charge against an elder except on the evidence of two or three witnesses. And for those who persist in sin, rebuke them in the presence of all, so that they may rest and stand in the fear of the Lord. Well, this conference had more than two or three witnesses. It had a few thousand. And a public rebuke in this situation was needed. Why? So that the rest may stand in the fear of the Lord. We need to return to the fear of the Lord in the church these days. Yes, Jesus does love us. Yes, he is the shepherd that puts the sheep on his back and goes after him. But if you're committing sin over a long time period, he removes people from the face of this earth. And many people left the face of this earth for playing games with God. When something is wrong, you can call it out on the spot, another leader in the body of Christ. Pastor Mark, Pastor Mark Lindell should be removed from ministry for a season at a minute. And people like Mark need to be, Mark Driscoll need to be commended for taking a bold stand and saying, you're not doing this on my watch. I'm not staying silent. This is not a time to stay silent in the church. This is not a time to bow to the spirit of Jezebel. This is a time to throw Jezebel out the window and let the dogs eat her. Thank you for standing with me these days and make sure you're in the right church under the right leadership and that they're not tolerating things like this in a church environment. Be blessed.